What up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel. I'm Anthony. And before we get too deep into this video, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you like this video, hit that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. All right, let's dive in. So what you just saw on the handheld was my case count for this stop. I'm actually on a chain account. So I have a two day route. This is the second day off my two day route. Um, and so they have 431 cases coming in. This stop actually used to get between 500 and 615 cases, just this stop. Um, it was a new stop about three months ago, so they were in the honeymoon phase. Um, so they were getting a lot of cases. Um, and since then, they've cut the order down some. So now they get anywhere from 350 to 400 plus cases, which is still a lot of cases. This stop takes me a, a few hours to work um, for two reasons. Number one, you know, it's quite a bit of cases, but number two, I actually have to put the freezer and cooler items up on this rack that they have in the freezer and cooler. And I'll show you guys a little bit later on in the video as to what I'm talking about. Um, so it, this stop is a key drop, which means I'm the only one here. For those that don't know what a key drop is, that's when we have um, access to the building by having a key to get inside um, and we do our thing drop off and then we lock the accounts back up and set the alarms and things of that nature right so that's what this stop is so i'm the only one here but like i said i have to put all the fries and stuff up which is a lot they get fries and bread for the cooler for the most part um but it's a lot of stuff so it's pretty tedious i'm not gonna lie um, and time consuming, but it is what it is. But I'll show you guys a little bit later what that looks like. All right, guys, so this is the freezer area that I was talking about earlier. As you can see, all the fries are stacked in this freezer. Um, I had to stack all these fries up like that, and they're sitting on these little metal racks underneath the fries. Um, so this is, again, a very tedious stop. You know, it's time consuming, so it adds time when you gotta stack all this. Normally, you know, it's a drop and go type of situation with most of our deliveries, but um, this one, I have to, you stack all this stuff up and the same thing with the cooler you're getting ready to see here uh these white and green boxes of chicken tenders so you'll see on the left here 
all those stacked up like that. I think they probably had somewhere around eight to ten in here already from the previous delivery. But everything that you're seeing here in this cooler area, I, I put in. So that's it. Rapid will stop up. Be back shortly. All right, guys, what you're looking at is my trailer at this point. Everything left on the truck is for my last stop. I only have two stops on my second day, and I got a two-hour drive before I get there, so I'll check back with you guys in a minute. All right, guys, that wraps up today's route. Um, I only had two stops today. I got about four more items to drop off here and I'm pretty much done. But you can see the trailer. And we'll get this set up like this so you guys can see all of it. I got about four more items. Um, left to drop off here and then I have three returns so that's why these items are sitting over here but other than that that's a wrap um, 
I got about a two hour drive back to the yard and I'm done. So, oh, and it's uh, 7.20 a.m. So it's, it's still early. Um, you know, I could have got done a little bit earlier, but you know, I wanted to give you guys some, some footage. So that's it guys. Uh, remember, if you like this video, hit that like button for me, subscribe to the channel. You already know I appreciate your support and I got more content coming. All right guys, until next time, take care.